guys so we are back in typical unboxing fashion and i have three unboxings for you today um today is wednesday july 13th i always have to think about it i'm like i deal with the date every single day and i just always forget what day it is anyway it's wednesday july 13th and i just got home from work i am still wearing my work clothes like that's how excited i am to open these boxes so I have two huge Diamond Art Club boxes right here. And then I also have, you guessed it, it's a pen from Butterfly Effect Wear. So I was just talking about this actually, I think in my whipping chat last week. So this one was a custom pen and I ordered this one based off some special colors. So I'll explain this one in a minute. We'll open this one last, but first I'm gonna open the two Diamond Art Club boxes. And let me just preface this by telling you that I actually ordered four days ago, I ordered six kits because I lost all self-control, okay? And two of the three boxes came in and the third one hasn't shipped yet. So I'm like a little concerned. I'm like, oh, they like made a label, but it hasn't tracked anywhere. So I might email Diamond Art Club and ask about that one. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and open these two. So I just thought that was interesting. Um, but anyway, I'll also explain really quickly before I open these. I know, you're all dying, right? Um, but I just wanted to explain really quickly why I ordered them this way. So the first order I made was actually, I had like reward dollars to spend. And in some Enchanted Evening came back in stock, just spoiler alert, some Enchanted Evening came back in stock and I have been wanting that kit forever. So it was like done and done. So I added a second kit that was rounds, that was smaller, that I was like, okay, I can add that to my stash because I like, like something a little smaller. Well then from there, I noticed that a bunch of kits that were on my wish list came back in stock recently and that's when I lost control. So, but I realized, this is a long story, I'm sorry, but <laughs> just hang in there, okay? We're gonna unbox in a sec. I'll start, I'll start getting the tape open while we talk. Anyway, um, so what I decided to do, because I'm a math person, so I think I've told you guys before, but I have a degree in math, so I like, numbers are kind of my thing. And um, so I pay attention, like when I'm buying something, I'm like, is it actually a better money saver to use like the VIP group code or to use my reward points or which one is the best, you know, money, money saver. So what I discovered was that if I used VIP group for four of the kits at once, I was only saving 15%, but I also had $25 in rewards. So I was like, you know, crunches the numbers in my head and it was actually $10 cheaper to buy them in two separate orders. So that's why I split them up. But now the other package has to come and I'm sad. Anyway, so we got our packing slip. There is a discount code on these packing slips. So, you know, don't discount that. But this might be, nope. So this is not the box of some enchanted evening. So sorry. Anyway, this is one of the kits. This is Scarecrow and Friends by Joelle McIntyre. I love her artwork. And um, here's a little image of it. And what I might do actually, now that I think about it, I will just put an image of these each on the screen so you can see it better. But yeah, this one is pretty big. It's a 90 by 70. And I don't like buying big kits because they overwhelm me. But this one was like just kind of a must have. We had our little scarecrow and sunflowers and a black cat and a bunny and I just, uh, I couldn't, I had, I had to do it, I had to do it. Um, I already have a kit that I'm gonna work on this fall, so I guess that's for next year. I don't know. And then this was another one that I was waiting for to come back in stock. Um, I blame my friend Bree for this one because she got me really hooked on Jeremiah Kettner's artwork. So this is Kitty Cat by Jeremiah Kettner. Hopefully you can see a little bit there. I'll, I'll, add, I'll put the image on the screen. So this one is uh, also square and I believe, let me double check. Yep, my Scarecrow and Friends is also square. So these are square diamonds. This one is 56 by 79. So it's right in that Diamond Art Club sweet spot. Um, but yeah, this one was just cute. And you know, you guys know I'm cat obsessed. And I was kind of saying before, 
um, I said this in a couple of my videos, I stopped buying kits that I just like thought I would love to decorate with. I still do buy them for that purpose, but sometimes I just buy a kit because I think it would be fun to work on just because of the colors and stuff. And that was one of those where I was just like, yeah, I wanna do this kit for the colors. Anyway, this one is Some Enchanted Evening and I have seen, and this one is Randall Spangler. I've seen a couple of people unbox this and it's massive. So here's the image, I'll put it up here. This one is a square also. It is 70 by 118 centimeters, which is 27 and a half inches. So just to give you that in feet, that's a little over two feet and then 40 by 46 and a half inches. And just to give you that in feet, that is almost four feet, okay? That is a big A painting. Um, again, I always say this when I like open and unbox kits, I have no idea when I'm gonna get to work on this, but this one was so beautiful. I love Randall Spangler's artwork, but specifically this kit, something about it, man, just, it got me. So last kit, we have is that little smaller one that I said I added because I wanted a round. So this one is round. This one is Susan Wingat. She's another one of my artists that I really like. Um, this is Gray Bunny with floppy ears. This is 51 by 66, a little smaller than the Diamond Art Club Sweet Spot, but I'll put, I always I keep trying to show you, but I'll put the image here. Um, this one just came out recently and then like right after it came out, it said it was out of stock and I felt that immediate like, oh, I should have gotten it. And because I felt that way, I realized it was one that I wanted to add, but this one is just a really sweet little like springtime, I don't know, it's cute. And I love Susan Wingett's artwork too. So again, this is a round, so this will work up a little faster given that it's small and round. So. That was, I thought, a good one to add to the stash. Um, so yeah, that is the four kits I got. There are two more on the way. There are two more on the way. Um, and one of them involves cats, and it's one that's been on my wish list freaking ever. You might have a guess as to what it is. Do you have a guess as to what it is? Bree, don't say anything, because I already told you I bought it. And maybe Christiane, I might have told you too. I can't remember. But don't say anything, because I want to see if people can guess. Put a comment down below and see if you can guess which painting it is. It's a pretty popular one from Diamond Art Club. I feel like I feel like somebody will get it. And if somebody does get it, I will let you know in the comments. Like I'll respond to it and say, you got it, that's the one. Anyway, I might have even mentioned it in a video in the past. I don't know, I don't think I did. Anyway, it's time to open my custom pen. <laughs> so um, Butterfly Effect Wears does a pen drop like every Saturday but sometimes they will release like custom orders on their site. And I just happened to run into a time a few weeks ago where they had a custom order open. And I was like, I have this pen, this vision in mind that I wanted. And I was like, I'm gonna order that. So let me move my invoice here. Um, so I like messaged her and the cool thing is um, they actually live in North Carolina and I grew up in South Carolina, just a few hours away from where they are. And I'm familiar with where they live too because I lived in Charlotte for a while and I think they're just outside of there. Anyway, so when I messaged her about it, I asked her, like I kind of told her what my inspiration was, which was the Clemson Tigers because I am I'm a big Clemson Tigers fan. So um, I grew up in Clemson, South Carolina. So if you are not a football person, um, the college football, Clemson Tigers, yes. So their colors are orange and purple. So what I asked for for my custom was orange, purple, and white. And I basically just wanted to do like a Clemson themed pen. And when I told her that, she's like, oh my gosh, Clemson, I know Clemson. Like, I know a bunch of people who went there. I almost went there and I was like, yeah, I grew up there. My brother went there. So it was just exciting. Anyway, that's the story behind this, which is why I'm excited about it. Ah, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It is really far and away. It is a Clemson Tiger's pen and it's really cool for Halloween too. So I feel like it was, it's kind of a dual purpose, you know? Football season, fall, Halloween, yeah. I'm obsessed, it's really beautiful. 
and I like I liked this shape too this was a little different than any of the pens I have um this is yeah it's ever so slightly different than this one because this one's got lines in it and this one doesn't so this is one of my favorite pens to hold and I don't know these three are like tied for my my top favorite uh, no I'm telling you butterfly effect wears has the sorry I was like distracted my I don't know if you can hear that probably not my dryer is beeping and it's singing the song of its people but this is another butterfly effect where it's like I can't decide which one I love more um they're all so beautiful in their own special special ways but oh it's so pretty I love it oh I wanted this one for ugh, I'm excited anyway so there it is my Clemson pinion um but she also includes a little Sorry, I jumped right to the pen. She includes um, the Butterfly Effect Wears business card, so that's where to get it. I will link their shop in the description of this video. And then she also has a little butterfly sticker. I save my stickers, and sometimes I use them just to like cover stuff, adhere stuff together, whatever. And then she always includes a little where there's candy. And I keep mine like somewhere near my diamond painting. And if ever I get like the urge, I just yeah, I have a little little thing over here where I just put it in there. Anyway, that is all I have for today. That made me really happy. That was a little dose of happy that I kind of needed today. Um, but yeah, I'm in love. It's beautiful. I can't wait to use it. Um, this one might come with me on my trip. I don't know. I'm scared to bring a pen that I'm like really obsessed with on my trip this weekend. Cause then I'm like, what if something happens to it? Um, or I leave it somewhere. But anyway, that's everything I have for you now. Um, I am still in the same spot. I was talking in my vlog yesterday. If you haven't seen that one, it's a really short video. So you can go back and watch that one real easy. It's like three minutes long. Um, but I was talking about how I had this section of the diamond painting that was color blocked and I haven't made any progress since then. So I'm kind of hoping tonight, like we have to pack we have to pack, we have to do some laundry. We just have a few things to do around the house before we, we leave um, for the weekend. We're leaving tomorrow night. So I was like, I just would love, love, love to get a little bit of progress done on this kit and finish at least this section before you know we leave so I can kind of come back to a fresh new section. But we'll see. I'm not super optimistic, but I think I will have a little time in between loads of laundry to do a little diamond painting. So. Anywho, that's everything. Um, I plan on also, if I probably won't, yeah, I will, I will pack it tonight. So I will show you guys how I'm, like what I'm taking with me for that diamond painting, just for funsies. Um, Cause I'm always nosy and I like to see what people are bringing with them when they travel. But um, yeah, that's all I got. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Hey guys, Mary back again. I am just gonna show you really quickly the progress I've made on this kit so far. So this is, I have two little sections out of, I sectioned it kind of into 12. <laughs> These middle sections ended up being a little smaller, but that's okay. Um, anyway, I just wanted to show you where I'm at with it. And um, yeah, this is the one that I am gonna bring with us as we head out. And I figured I would show you what I am bring, going to bring with me on the plane. So I have this kit that I talked about in my vlog yesterday. And this is just my little kit with all of my, um, these little guys in it. Anyway, so I actually took out this, like these couple, just to give me a little extra space for all the stuff I'm putting in here. I don't know if I'm gonna need it, but I just moved all the drills forward. Anyway, one of these I'm actually using to store my trash drills. So kind of dual purpose there. I really need to take all these stickers off and, you know, use some goo gone, but whatever. Anyway, so up in the top of this though, I'm just gonna kind of flip you all around here and then just kind of share with you what I am going to be packing in this. So first and foremost, we need a tray. Um, I have this one, this is one of my smallest trays that I own, which is why I'm bringing this one. Um, this is a Bella Art De Nicole tray and it has a lid and a stopper. So, you know, if I have to leave my drills in there, I can just 
cover them up and put it away. I don't have to worry about it. But yeah, I figured with that extra space, it'll, I don't know. Anyway, um, then one thing that I always use, especially when I'm sectioning off my canvas, is a craft knife. Now I have a feeling that this won't fly with the TSA, um, but I think I can bring this one as a substitute. So as you know, this is my craft knife, you know. Then I've got this little guy that has a little ceramic blade on it. I think you can see that. See the little tiny blade? Um, this is like a child safe one, like it won't hurt you very much. Um, yeah, so I figured I would bring that one with me. I don't think they're gonna say anything about it. Um, I have two pens. Um, I'm just bringing some that like I could replace if I need to. Um, this one was an Amazon pen and this one I got from KNS Custom DP pens. Um, but I have one with a four placer and one with a seven because I kind of alternate depending on my needs. Um, but yeah, I have glue dots loaded up in these and I just added some fun putty. And you might notice that this is a different color blue than the blue tack that um, you're used to. And the reason for that is I made my own. So I am finally kind of in the final stages of uh, my putty. So I'm kind of bringing this with me. I just figured I'd show it to you guys. It smells so good. Like as soon as I open this, it smells like blueberry. Like, do you remember those, um, what are those things that when we were kids, like the scented markers, the, the chunky ones? <laughs> That's what this smells like. It smells like the blueberry one of those. But anyway, there is my putty. It is really nice. And I kind of like swirled pink and, or not pink, but purple and blue together in there. But it's not a good swirl. I'm still working on that. But <laughs> anyway, I have to give it a sniff. It smells so good. Anyway, like I said, I'm in the, I'm in the final stages. So I'm ready to share this video with you, but I don't want to do it. You know, I obviously don't have time to film it before we have to go to the funeral. So <laughs> I'm like, well, so I'm bringing my putty, but then... I am also bringing just some extra wax, just in case. And then um, I had an extra little craftably um, thing, so I put some of my glue dots in there. You can see the little paper. I just decided to cut off a little strip and I put them in this little craftably thing so I could make them portable and they wouldn't get crushed. Anyway, so I just wanted to have some glue dots with me because yeah, single placer. Um, I have my little washi tape. This is the washi tape I'm putting on the outside edges. And I use this to section off this canvas. With big with big kits, I don't usually section them off, but this one's small and it kind of seemed fun and doable. So that's why I decided. But this one kind of matched. It's got some pinks and golds and blues in there. So it looks like this one makes me think of like a birthday party. <laughs> anyway, um... And then I have, so I have, I have a pair of tweezers and I decided to just kind of bring an older pair that I didn't care too much about in case TSA takes them. I also put the cover on them because they are really pointy. So I don't know if they're going to say anything. I don't know. Y'all tell me if you've traveled with really pointy tweezers. I don't know if they're going to say anything, but I do have the cover on there. So we'll see. I'm not doing a checked bag. I'm just doing like a carry on. So. And then last, I have a little cover binder. And this one is like the perfect size for this kit. It's a little smaller. And um, this one came with my craftably kit. So it just matches really well. So, and that I think is everything. Yeah, that's everything. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of share that and share what I'm taking with me. But um, I doubt I'll have time to diamond paint. But at least I'll have the peace of mind to know that I have this with me. <laughs> I'm like, maybe, maybe I can diamond paint. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was, I thought it was fun. And, you know, a cute little travel, travel kit. So we'll see. Anyway, um, now I've got that nice and closed up. I'm like, do I though? Do I? Okay, there we go. Yeah, see, I was right. Leaving that extra space back here really did give it space to, to close up well. Anywho, so let me move this and I'll show you 
where I'm at with this Harry Potter kit. It's kind of late, but I already know I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> so I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on this a little bit. So my only goal tonight is to just get this little section here, or this little section here finished. I mean, not little, this is a pretty big section, but I have already done over half of it. So yeah, anywho, I will update you uh, before I post this. And what I kind of decided is that I'm just gonna do these vlogs up until the time I go to bed. Um, Cause it just helps me separate out my day a little bit better. <laughs> um, yeah, so. I'll update you before I go to bed and we'll see what freaking time it is. <laughs> Anywho, we'll see you later. All right, y'all, I did it. Here is the section that I completed right here. And that is about, I would say probably two thirds of this 25% row here. So looking at the whole painting, I have this one quarter to go and then a third of a quarter. <laughs> So I think we're doing pretty well. Um, I feel a lot better. <laughs> I have like this entire row right here, from here over, I have done since Sunday and it's Wednesday. So I feel like I made some good progress. It's a little after 1230. I'm going to bed, <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm quite pleased. One fourth and a third of a fourth to go. <laughs> Have a good night, y'all. This, y'all, this is why I got a bag to protect my whips because of this one. Pumpkin. Hey. Hey. I love you. He's like, I'm not having it. I'm busy sleeping here, Mom. <laughs>